own own IPs, the real IPs, what are called intellectual properties or Indian products. I have IP of different senses, India products. Do you think what you have in India products, I feel it is not a very substantial thing. We still uh, have the IPs which are coming out from outside. So my main uh, concern as an India as, a, as well as a other r and organization working with me is we should concentrate on generating IPs for India. It may be software, hardware and all things. In that sense, I was uh, sharing with uh, Professor Mona that our India process should be our own IP with, uh, so that we can claim as something as an Indian. You know, you have something like boss software, operating systems. I can go into innumerable ways where you have problems. What you are doing, depending upon, is mostly for imported IPs. Why I, IP is also important is not only from uh, being proud to be using. No, I'm not saying. It makes economic sense also. IP owning is economic sense. It makes, I think a few months back, I read a report. Uh, I, it is somewhere in economic magazine. You know, it says that uh, the iPhone, what you get from Apple iPhone, the cost is about uh, $250 when it is sold or something. If you see the breakup of the cost, how it is goes through, the Apple owns, I'm not sure about the facts, but it is told, it is that Apple gets out of the $250, $137 as IP rights. Okay. Out of the $250, $137 goes as IP rights. And $8, if you buy any Apple product in US or in India, I think, it, you can back, you flap, you see, all the products are manufactured in China. Okay, Foxcom, whatever they are manufacturing them in China. The, all the Apple things are manufactured in China. How much China gets out of it? As a labor, it, it is a fact it was given there. They get only $8. The labor put in the iPhone is $8. The IP rights are $137. Rest goes in components and other things out of the $250. What I am saying is, Owning IP makes economic sense also. And I was thinking it was surprising that figure is right or not, $137. But it looks like to me right is because, you know, last quarter's, uh, uh, your um, Apple's revenue, quarter revenue was $8.8 .8 billion. Before the iPhone 5 was released, which was sold 1 million in uh, 24 hours. That much royalty comes out of just by owning IPs. It is not that, you know, you produce it in China. I am saying, don't look for that eight dollars. So India has a knowledge, uh, you know, a capacity to do it. I think you should think of that hundred thirty-seven dollars instead of going for the eight dollars. So in that, all my like-minded people here, we are the people who are supposed to generate IP. Somehow that fact is not still clicking in India. I don't. Know. I'm. I'm just sharing my thoughts with you. We still think that, uh, but uh, we, we don't own IPs, but we work for those IPs. You can see what is happening in uh, Bangalore, Sharjapur Road and all things. See, all these multinationals, okay, even the first, uh, you know, TI chip was shipped out of India, that first, uh, you know, what I call is a 1 billion transistor chip, shipped out of India. Even uh, the Intel, oh, you know, multi-core processor was shipped out of India, means design. But still we don't own. What we are doing is working for them. We think that we are getting money. But that is not the money we are looking for. It is the IP which makes money.